speaking of your time in TNA, we just interviewed Jerry Jarrett. So I'm not asking you to bash him or anything. I, but... I, I would, first of all, but I would never bash yeah. the guy. I mean, okay. he, he can say whatever he wants about Vince Russo. I would never bash the guy, but go ahead. I, I don't recall exactly what he said about you, but he definitely uh, really doesn't like you. And I was just wondering if, if you could possibly explain why he doesn't. Nah, bro. He, listen, man. When I, since I've known Jeff Jarrett, who I used to be a very, very, very close friend, him, him, and his dad had a terrible relationship, bro. And 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 Jeff used to tell me stories about when he used to work for his dad at USWA, the way his own father would treat him. So, like, there was a lot of built up animosity, and they never got along. So years later, Jeff and I become really good friends and Jeff wants me to write TNA. I mean, Jeff called me one day when I was, I was consulted for the WWE and he goes, Vince, I need you to write our TV. And because we were so close and because we were so friends, I, I did it. I, I went and I worked with Jeff because I wanted to help him. Well, bro, of course, Jerry Jarrett didn't like that. Jerry Jarrett wanted to write the TV, but Jeff wanted me to write the TV. So like, bro, after, you know, like, you know, I mean, Jeff Jarrett is in his 50s now. Whatever relationship Jerry and Jeff had, all of a sudden you're blaming me for that. I mean, like one of the things, bro, like he actually blamed me for was, Remember when Jeff was at the WWE and he held them up for money when he was supposed yeah. to wrestle China and everything? Jerry Jarrett blamed me for that. Bro, I was working at WCW. Like, I wasn't even there. I, I, I wasn't working at the WWE. I had nothing to do with that. I knew nothing about it. I had no idea what Jeff's contract was. But Jerry goes as far as to try to blame me for that. And I'm like, bro, like you're, you're really reaching for straws. I wasn't even there, but, but that's the thing, bro. I'm not going to sit here and bury these guys. You, you know, if it makes them feel better to, you know, d degrade me or, you know, try to embarrass me or discredit, I mean, knock yourselves out, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to play that game. Yeah. He didn't really degrade you. He just basically said he didn't like you. And it was clear that it was real yeah. hatred that he had. Yeah. For well, you. bro, I, I could tell you this. You talk about Cornette, you talk about Bischoff, you talk about Jerry Jarrett. Bro, I don't hate any of those guys. I mean, to me, hate is like a real disgusting word. I don't hate any of those guys. I really don't, bro. And one thing uh, Jerry Jarrett told us that I don't know if Jeff ever told you about this, but he said that Jeff had no Dixie because they used to live in the same apartment complex together kind of hinted that uh... well you know bro i'll be honest with you i de i definitely knew that and there was always like speculation but bro like yeah. for as long as i was a tna and as long as i knew them none of that was ever confirmed i, yeah. I mean none of that none of that was ever confirmed right. and i mean the same building just to be clear here not the same apartment but yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. We know how popular the wrestlers were in uh, in those days in Texas. Yeah, who knows, bro? But ne I, I never, I never got confirmation on that.